President Trump accused California of being a hotbed of voter fraud. Trump, he accused millions of people of voting illegally. Hillary Clinton won this state, by the way, by 4 million votes. KCON 9 political reporter Dave Bryan is digging into those facts tonight and has this story. Dave? Yeah, and the president said that uh, th this kind of voter fraud is all over California. He said, as you mentioned, millions yeah. of votes were changed. This is not the first time the president has teed off on California election fraud. In fact, at one point, he appointed a commission to investigate the problem nationwide. Now, that never really worked out. But today, the president raised the subject again, which many considered to be dead and buried, at a tax event in West Virginia. At President Trump's West Virginia tax event on Thursday, he tossed aside the script and instead decided to speak about a few things that were on his mind, launching into an off-the-cuff monologue to a crowd of enthusiastic supporters, reaching back to some old and unproven claims about California voter fraud. In many places, like California, the same person votes many times. You probably heard about that. They always like to say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Not a conspiracy theory, folks. Millions and millions of people. And it's very hard because the state guards their records. They don't want to see it. Surprise, surprise. What the president had to say today is simply not true. California Secretary of State Alex Padilla charges President Trump has been peddling this conspiracy theory since the returns from California showed him losing the state by millions of votes in the 2016 presidential election, where he lost the popular vote nationwide as well. And it's gotten beyond the point of being sad. It's gotten beyond the point of being frustrating. Uh, the more he continues to make these false allegations, outright lies is what they are, uh, the more it's serving to undermine confidence in the system. President Trump charges that California and many other states refuse to hand over personal and private information on all voters in the state because the states claimed it would have breached privacy protections. The president charged the real reason was the states wanted to block a presidential commission from investigating the voter fraud. But Padilla says it's the Trump administration that has not been cooperative with the states on this issue. We frankly have asked the White House for evidence or proof of these claims, and uh, not surprisingly, not a single shred of evidence. L.A. County Registrar Recorder Dean Logan responded to the president's charges with a statement which said in part, the current allegations of voter fraud in California are completely without merit. These allegations serve no purpose other than to promote divisive rhetoric. Well, this dispute is not likely to be settled anytime soon, but as we said in the report, Padilla charges it's undermining public trust in America's voting system, and that can have long-term repercussions. He claims California works hard to make sure the vote is cast and counted honestly and accurately, despite the charges from the president.